does your play change it up? Like, would you uh, slide a little earlier in the situation? I'm trying to slide any way it goes now, but before Nate was even hurt or things like that, we don't even know his injury yet, so we don't know what's going on, but to be a little bit more cautious because, you know, got a youngster backing you up. <laughs> But what you were your still played. Brian, you know, so far after today. He did a good job. Came out. He can throw the ball really well. Got a good spiral, but he came out and did better than maybe thought he was going to do. And even if Nate's not here, Darren, I just walked in. You still play your game. You still do the run. You still do everything you normally would do. Oh yeah, ain't nothing changed. Want to come out, do our thing. Not really, not really too worried about backing off injuries. If it happened, it happened. But we're going out and playing. You were in the spot your true freshman year where you kind of you know, had to burn a red shirt, I guess. Uh, it ended up working out right just last year. But what was that like for you mentally coming into the year? I'm thinking you are going to red shirt and then injuries forced you to, to burn. Well, it's kind of hard mentally for Brian. I told him I went through the same thing, but it's just you always got to be ready at all times. You never know. You're still on the team, even though if you're red shirt and you're still a part of the team, so you got to be ready to play. Holding, are you are you ready to be the holder? Are you going to be the holder? Is Jackson going to be the holder? Chip said it's between you guys. Oh, yeah, we're going to come out and do the same thing. It's not changing up nothing. Try to get the same two-point conversion and things like that, but I might be holding this this game. Are you comfortable with that? Oh, yeah, it's no problem. You Practice it every day. At, you had a chance to look at Cal yet defensively what they do? Oh, yeah, Cal going to come out. They're not really going to bring too much bliss, but they're going to do some base things. Really not going to try, try to confuse you, but rally into the ball, sort of like our defense. Good team, good fast team. How nice was it to have uh, a little more depth to tell back with Kenyon back? Oh, yeah, with Kenyon back, I was so happy to see him out there. His speed was the thing. He was maybe faster than anybody that was out there on the field because he'd been arrested. So it's happy to see him on the field, take some contact. Uh, we don't know about Nate just yet, obviously, but you know, assuming that he might be missing some time, how do you take the role of kind of getting the number two guy, you know, Brian, maybe a little more acclimated during the week practice? Oh, yeah, we're going to get back into the film room a little bit more. Now that he know that he could be the guy and things like that, now you got to be a little bit more in-depth watching film with the team and things like that. But we got Brian and also Daryl Hawkins. They're going to be competing for that second spot. Uh, I came in late, but what did you think about Brian and the type of player he is? I guess today specifically getting more reps. How do you think he will be good? Brian's a good player. He came out today, threw the ball well. Really didn't make too many mistakes, did some good things, and he's going to be ready for the challenge. I think he's ready. Ready.